there's always somebody else coming up under you. So of course, like, and especially now in music and like rap, especially people don't look back as much. You know, everybody's constantly moving forward. And I check back on everything. That's how like I learned to rap and shit like that. But people now are just like, I'm gonna check out the last thing that came out and I'm gonna move forward. Whereas I was like, I didn't know like what Wu Tang was. Like, you know, I didn't know like what started, you know, rap as it is today. I mean, yeah, I have more resources available now than I did before. Before everything was just like pretty much out of my own pocket, you know, what I can get done with the money that I did have. Had the time, it was just like, we've already, we already own the camera. So let's just like, use, use, you know, use it to the best of our advantage and shit like that. You know, like don't, I, I never was one to like think too hard about like the sediment quality of things. That was the one thing that I did want everything to look like. Like everything just looks clean and polished even back in the day. Like, I didn't really do too many, like, you know, like wrist was a very like, all right, bro, like we're just gonna walk around the house in this grungy ass house and that's it. But even that to it, like in itself had some kind of like cinematic quality to it. It looked like there was like a story being told as I moved through the house, you know, interact with my friends and shit like that. With like core fans, they hate to see things get cleaner and nicer. Like I've had people like respond and be like, man, this is amazing. New people find it, like this is amazing. Old fans see it and be like, ah, I like that. I like that gritty, like real, like low down, like underground shit. And it's like, I'm not in that place anymore, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I have nicer shit, like a crib's nicer. Like I have more like space to really like think and like put my hands on things. Oh, Adult Swim, yeah, I've been trying to work with Adult Swim for forever, you know what I'm saying? But it took as little as tweeting at DeMarco on, uh, on Twitter being like, hey, work with us. And he's like, all right, we fuck with y'all, like slide through. Like, I, I mean, I'm, I was, I'm always waiting on opportunities sometimes and then I realize sometimes you can just like hit people up and they're like, we know who you are. We fuck with you. Like, just pull up on us. We'll talk about it. I mean, honestly, they were just like, we like what you do. So just do what you do and let us have access to the music. Like, they didn't, they didn't require too much of me, honestly. They just was like, just give us the music. Even like during the process of making it, we'd be like, okay, God, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. We're like, we don't care about the creative process or anything that you're doing. When it's done, just give us the records. We're gonna like, you know, it's gonna just work out. You know, there's no, there's no, there was no like strict guidelines to it at all. Which is, I guess, kind of how like the brand works in general anyway. Both, like both brands, ours and theirs. Like I used to pass the office like every day. You see it from the highway, like the lights and shit from like from their office and whatnot. So you see it every time you're passing down like a 7585. And this is one of the things I'm just like, one day I'm gonna get in that office. And I finally got in there and I was like, Cool, cool, bro. This is good. This is good. I'm going in the right direction. It's like when that show came out, I was like, this is it. Like people would be like, what is this? How is this Atlanta? And I'm just like, no, you don't understand. Like the little shit that they be doing is exactly the lifestyle that I remember living like for the past like three years, three or four years. I was, um, in Atlanta, like, we, like I was saying, like the house is very deep, like, like 20 people in there at all times. And of course you're dealing with your core group of friends. They have friends, so you like, you look up. I wake up in the morning, come downstairs. I'm just like, who the fuck are you? Like, why are you on my floor? What are you doing? Why are you sleeping on my floor? Who are you? Like, what, what's going on? That shit, you don't realize after a while, but like that shit will stress you the fuck out. Like waking up and being like, who is in my house? Leave, go on tour, go do a show, come back a new friend, somebody's made a new friend and they're just chilling in your crib and it's like, you don't pay no bills here, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you here? So like, I had to, to reel myself back in, like move off, went to LA for a little bit, you know, cooled down, you know what I'm saying? Soaked up some sun and was like, oh, wow. That's all it took. Like, I'm in much better, like, much better spirits and shit like that. Like, even like initially starting off with Awful, like, it wasn't as gritty and deep as it was. Like, when I first made like uh, the first album and shit, it was pretty much just like me, my girlfriend, uh, Dexter, one of the uh, producers in Awful, living in an apartment. It was very low key. So I got a lot of work done and it, was, it sounded very clear headed at the time. But when things started to get more messier and muddier and muddier, I think that influenced the sound. The sound got muddier and muddier and muddier until it was like damn near washed out. I kind of want to show that I'm returning to my old self. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even my life that I live now, it's like, it's very, very chill, like, ain't no sadness or none of that type of shit. I'm never upset, like, day to day, like, oh my God, my wife, <laughs> what was me? 
like I don't live like that anymore. It's like it's just very like everything's good. You know what I'm saying? Like even when shit's not that great, it's still fucking good. Mostly video games. Like honestly, I like I like uh I like character development and just mindless activities, side missions. I'm a very side mission type, <laughs> very side mission oriented type of guy. I don't know why, but it's just something about like somebody being like, hey, uh, my baby needs some milk. I can't, uh, my legs are broken. I can't go to the store. Can you run to the store and get my baby some milk? Like, I'm like, I got you. Like, that's my job. Like, I can help do many, like menial shit. I don't know why. I, I, I ignore the main missions and a lot of things just to do a bunch of trivial shit. For, <laughs> for people. I feel like that's, that's like kind of like my life too. Like I feel like I'd be doing trivial shit for people just cause like, you know what? I got time on my hands. Like what do you need me to do, bro? I'll run to the store for you, you know what I'm saying? You need like, what you want, soda? Like, I got you, I got you, let's go. I like to bowl. That shit's fun, bowling. Bowling is so fun. Like, I'm not a sports guy, but like I like like bowling, pool hall, like billiards, like shit like that. You know, I'm not into betting and shit like that. So I don't be like in the pool hall, like, yeah, 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 I got $20 on you know what I'm saying? Let's go, let's go. Like, I feel like I need distractions. Like, there's a, shit, a lot of shit that goes on in my head and shit. So I'm like, I like to like shut it out by like locking into like a whole nother world. <laughs>